What's up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're taking on the Twilight Lands. Uh, we're on day six right now. Obviously it resets. I think I think it only lasts for eight days. Um, but we are currently on 16, the edge of the Catalysm. And we're on uh, level seven as well. So let's just have a look at our rankings so on our server. We're top four right now. Um, Beyond is just beating me. Very, very good player. David Madrid as well. He is my ex-rival. This guy used to stomp me all the time in Arena. But uh, yeah, but I got stronger and I learned how to beat his team. So let's uh, reset our team. Yep, we definitely need the reset. Going to use the one that we used previously before. Yep. And how I like to do it is I sort of start off with tanks first. So I'll pick sort of five tanks. Uh, five vanguards, five summoners, because they're the strongest on my account. Um, hunters, I'm struggling with. Energy, I'm struggling with. And su my supports are semi-okay. That's sort of like how I like to build my team, sort of focus on my strongest first. And my strongest are my summoners. They are just god tier on my account. Literally, all my resources, everything, I just pump into them just so we can sort of get up there. Um, oh, let's just collect some stuff, some some gems from the speedboard. So let's get stuck in there. And this one recommended is Vanguard, but where my summoners are so strong, that's what we're going to start off with because they really do deal out the damage. Oh god, I hate having to sort of rebuild a team, but it needs to be done. And we're going to keep that one as well for the healing come down to the summoners and where our summoners are so strong we are actually use them as our tanks as well so they'll be doing solid damage as well as tanking for us on top and do you know what? let's just so this is what I, this is how you should do it as well don't um so we what we do is you challenge it you let it run for a little bit and sort of see how things are going because we may need a support to heal us up we may not so you don't know. So if we don't need a, um, a healer, why put one in? You are losing out on damage. And yeah, I think we just killed off two of the adds as well, which is great. And now just need to focus the boss down. And yeah, no need for um, for a support. We don't need any healing. We are doing it ourselves, being god tier um, summoners that we are. So hopefully we should be able to take this down. So. We've got two and a half minutes. I feel pretty comfortable about this. Let's skip it. And hopefully defeated. No. Oh, well, it happens, guys. It happens. But I feel like he's going down today. No. Oh, and we only killed one ad. I thought, okay. So that means we're going to have to rebuild. It probably means we're not going to be able to take him down today. Um, So we're going full ads. Ah. But they're these these are definitely bugs, aren't they? So we need to come out. Not all of my um heroes just I am working on my bug gear right now. So I need to switch that out. So Liores, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Nope. Actually, switch out onto Vanguard. Uh Zane, I'm a hundred percent sure he's got bug gear. Yep. Uh Claire. No. Air is definitely, and I think, did I get a third? I can't remember. One, two, three, four. No. All right, so we're working on it. We are working on creating that bug gear uh, from Thunder Bluff. Is it Thunder Bluff? Thunder Cliff? I think we're getting, getting involved in World of Warcraft right now. So we need a full Vanguard team, bringing them all in. And then we're going to swap out our commander. Course, we're going for um Hagridon. He is well, he's actually one of my favorite out of all the commanders, absolute beast. And for some reason, because I don't have an upgraded mark at the moment, prying eyes is the best for my Vanguard. Does insane damage, crazy, crazy damage. Uh, this is the best amulet. The only problem is I've got two stars in here. I've not upgraded just yet, but I will sort of get around to it. I just don't have any more of the gems to put in. So I have to save that for right now. 
and we'll just stick with this um healing crystal just because it's got that gem that reduces uh, all damage by 24%. That survivability is an absolute killer. So again, let it run a little bit. Watch what's happening. We went from 40 to 12%. So the summoners, they did do a good job. Maybe I should have gone with the Vanguard first. But I just think from my memory, the Vanguard didn't do as much damage as my summoners. Um, but now they're dead. So that means I can't use them, can't lean on them um, for today. So 6%, yeah, that's that's easy, easy pick-ins. And there we go, boys. Sit down. All right, so who have we got? Generalist, Tank, and Vanguard. I'm going to try Vanguard, but we need to swap the gear around again. Oh, it's so frustrating. And I don't know if you can see all of this, because I've seen people in the past sort of just change it when you're doing the setup but i can't seem to do that for some reason don't know why um but if anyone does know let me know what what am i doing wrong what is the real deal doing wrong in the comments below just so it will help me speed it up the next time i have to show you guys what's going on okay so 8 10 i don't think we're gonna be able to do 10 10 today but yeah we'll give this a little bit of a go and it's still showing um bug buster uh bug Master, is it Bug Buster? Bug Buster gear on? Ah, uh, yeah, I can't be bothered. Let's just sort of see where we go. So we've got three minutes. I'm going to let it get down to... Ooh, Ares is down already. Okay, that's a solid quit for me. Let's try Generalist. Generalist, I do feel, is an easier one to do. So first of all, we'll start with Tank. Orthan being God tier. Best tank on my account. Um, probably going to bring in Ares next. He does do um, decent damage. Really, really solid. Going to bring in a Hunter. Bring in Emma. Support, I will go for Serena. She's incredible. Even like, not even triple S plus. She's doing so much for my account. Um, and we've got no summoners. So maybe an assassin. Yeah, Coraxia, you know, uh, definitely wailed out on her. She is a beast. Prionize is going to be the best option here because it's going to help three of our heroes out doing damage. I think I'm going to try out Gable. Um, obviously, Hakodon's going to give us survivability, but I don't think we need it. I'd rather take damage, and she's definitely going to be our best option. In here... I will leave it for Vanguard, and then we're going to leave the healing on as well. All right, and fingers crossed, um, you know, we don't want anyone dropping and dying too quickly. Ares going straight for the back line. Caraxia, yep, she's going for the back line as well. That's what we want to do. We want to try to really pick them off. And Ares is already down. Damn. God, this 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 does look like a tough fight. Um, really, really could have done with some summoners right now. Maybe on reflection, should have started with Vanguard, really. Let them die and then let my summoners just carry me through the rest of this content. I do feel like this is the best team we're gonna get out today, though. So let's just speed it up. It's definitely gonna be a fail. I mean, pretty solid damage though, definitely a better route us to take than trying to go for that vanguard stage and again we're just going to build a very similar team uh i can't is it carbonara i like to call this guy carbonara we're gonna bring carbonara we're gonna bring in another vanguard we're gonna go with zane support um miranda energy i'm gonna go for skino no no actually no we want an assassin because the assassins Samuel Jackson's coming in, and we're gonna go for another hunter. And yeah, let's go Botmark. Botmark, I've always had a soft spot for a soft spot for Botmark. Just for a non triple S hero, he can really bump out the damage. Also brings that drop defense as well, which is just so great. Um, we've dropped two heroes already, 
So we should be good to go. Do you know what? I did definitely make a mistake bringing Gabe in. I should have brought in a Hagridon because it would have kept less actually retry. And that's another thing as well. It's okay to retry stuff. That's one of the things I love about this game is that you can test things out, test the waters. If things aren't going your way, try something else, mix it up a little bit. Um, you do have to try and work through, but yeah, the survivability is definitely going to make a big difference to Zane. We do not want him to drop, and he's he does solid damage. In fact, he's doing the he's out damaging an assassin, which uh, to me it doesn't really make any sense. Like vanguards are sort of off guard tanks, um, and assassins are just pure damage. But he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing big boy stuff, and we got the V. We got the victory. Let's move on. So energy, tank, and assassin. So tank is definitely going to be the hardest. I will give the assassin one a go. Oh, sorry. Oh, got a really itchy eye. Okay, back to the assassins. We go three assassins. We're going to bring in a uh, tank again with Carbonara. Support. We'll just do exactly the same. And... Okay, so middle is getting extra crit damage as well. So we want to make sure we put our best um, assassins in the middle. And because we're using pretty much just assassins, we're going to switch out for the Eye of Annihilation. It's incredible how much more damage your assassins will do with this over prion eyes. It really does uh, bump it up. And then we're going to switch out to this cloak for our assassins. And that's it. Let's go. So... Hopefully, we just need to try and pick off the back line as soon as possible. So we'll see how we're doing. If this one fails, I'll come back out and we'll move across um, to the other one, which was energy heroes. My energy heroes are definitely lacking on the account, but okay, it's definitely not going our way. I think we've got a better chance of doing energy bond. With the energy bond... Um, I personally find that these are weaker teams, so they're quite easy to sort of get through. And then energy heroes, not the best squad, very, very weak. But it is what it is. Bringing in Grace. And what prototype should we use for any heroes? Yeah, that is definitely going to help increase our damage. And then because... We've got a tank company of heroes. Probably be my favorite option. Just helps with regen. Also does a bit more damage for our tanks as well. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Wow. Tank is gone already. Okay. So this is definitely going to be a fail. I think we're going to have to call it a day, boys. Um... I am going to stick with this one, even though I feel like we've probably done zero damage. Okay, well, loads of damage have been dealt, actually. But let's just come and look. And yeah, everyone's still pretty much alive. But I know for a fact, Insectoid as well. Well, I'm working on my bug gear. Need to put some of that onto my um, on some, some energy heroes. Definitely need to start investing in my energy heroes as well, because they are really slacking. But yeah, so basically now, you know, I'm just going to just go through the rest of my team, burn it all up. I mean, next assassins, assassins will do pretty good here. They, you know, obviously they're always just doing insane damage. Warmigon and then just a healer. We'll use Lyran. And again, just switching things out. Don't be lazy. Make sure you're switching everything out. Uh, we're going to use Hagrid on though. We definitely need that survivability and the eye of annihilation as well bring that in and because we're using assassins well let's get the uh phantom cloak as well because that's gonna just give us that survivability that we need and then we'll skip for it really quick just start popping off okay not bad 900 million damage not bad at all so slowly sort of chipping away but when, when I bring my summoners in, I know they are going to be able to help me blitz through this. So I'm hoping this rotation we should be able to clear level 16 and get through 17. I hope this video helps anyone 
that sort of, you know, trying to understand how to progress quickly through Twilight Lands, I would 100% recommend just investing in summoners. I, f I think I sound like a broken record. I say it all the time, but they are just so damn good. And the prototypes as well, these will make a massive difference. Like you can see on the Nucleus, a uh, dominant Nucleus, I have invested so much in this, like already five star awakening. I think the next one is like all one stars. We've got two star there, but yeah, miles behind. But it does make a big difference. Just like here, I've got extra crit rate. Um, and yeah, it just makes things so much easier. But anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.